All right, everybody. So I've had a lot of. So I did an update video on how to update the Nirvana radio. It's actually really easy to do when you're already on the Nirvana firmware. There's a button in there. Uh, you hit the button uh, in the firmware on the UID screen, and you update it. If you are updating from Fly Skies, I've had a lot of questions on how to do this, and we do have an update video I, right on the website. I guess some people are having a hard time following it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we update this, right? So first thing you do, and I've already taken the batteries out, you take your batteries out. No need to have batteries in when you're updating. When you're on the FlySky firmware, you have to take your neck strap uh, attachment off, and there is a DFU button right below here. Now, I'm going to use an Allen wrench. I don't know if you can hear that but it's going in and out. So I'm going to push that in while I plug the USB in that's already connected to the computer. It's actually kind of a pain in the butt to do, but I'm used to doing it, so no problem, right? Of course, that one that way. It's just like doing a flight controller. It's pushed in all the way, and we should now be in DFU mode. So, I've already downloaded the updater. I'm assuming all you guys have as well. I have a link to the updater in the video description. That's OneDrive. I need this PC. I'm going to go to NV14 updater with driver. Yes, I'm going to allow it to run. And it's already found my FlySky controller. So I'm going to select. Uh, you guys can see it. Yeah, you can barely see it. I'm going to select what firmware I want to use. Now, if you're looking at your firmware, this is another big question. Which one do I use? They're all 2.2.2. That's right. It says this top one says testing 2019, as in year 2019, for April. 22nd and that's how we have them listed they're by date so I'm gonna grab the newest one that's what I've been flying on my other uh, controller I'm going to click on it now nothing's happening there's a hidden button here I, I call it a hidden button because it doesn't pop when you run over it but you're gonna come up here to this big blue bar that says download firmware and we're gonna hit that now you can see it's doing stuff now we're gonna do that again update TX now it's updating. And this does take a second. Um, it, you know, it is what it is. Do, do, do. By the way, I'm recording this on a Runcam 3. For those of you that have, uh, remember the old Runcam 3. Things work great. I have two of them still. Now, I'm going to show you the screen of the Nirvana, since we're sitting here just waiting. It is blank, but you can see it's backlit, right? That's what your Nirvana is going to look like while you're doing this. And a couple things to remember. These buttons right here, that button does not pop out. You just got to go up and hit it. Just about done. 95, 99, done. Now you see a, a pop-up comes up. Please restart your unit. Remove batteries if necessary. Your unit's going to say emergency mode. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it. Batteries are already removed. Why have them in? It's now dead. Let's just wait for a second. And we're going to plug it right back into the USB. Now, your screen, if you grab the same from where I did, it's going to show this. Because remember, we don't have batteries in, so it's saying the batteries are full, right? I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to turn the unit on, just like normal, holding the buttons in. Now, a couple things you will have to do in the underground FPV firmware. We're going to go to the center icon. The first thing I want you to do is 
calibrate your sticks. Easy to do, follow the on-screen directions, you're good to go. Scroll back over, that's your SD card contents, you don't have to worry about it. Um, as you can see here, I've set my battery range to low of 3 and a high of 4.1 and my alarm is 3.5. If I'm using that with Crossfire, I'm going to set it at 3.6, I'll set it at 3.6 anyway. Um, I'm going to turn sound on, it's hard doing this through my cell phone. There we go. I'm going to turn sound on. And as you can see, we're good to go. Um, up here in the corner, if you guys are new to the Underground FPV firmware, model select, all that stuff shows you everything. I don't actually use that one. So, anyway, that's it. Super easy. And no, I mean, if you have any issues, just hit me up. Hit me up on Facebook, uh, Jonathan Krum. Um, you can send me an email, uh, Underground FPV, or what is it, support at undergroundfpv.com, and uh, just put my name in there, I'll reply, we'll get you squared away. Give me a call, um, I am in Eastern Time Zone in North Carolina, United States, uh, I'll do whatever I can to give you guys a hand. Thanks, later guys.